Hey, how's it going guys? This is Dave2D. So school is just around the corner and people are looking for some inexpensive laptop options. So I thought I'd go through a list of some devices that I think are some of the better valued options in this space right now. So first up is the Acer R11 Chromebook. It's the cheapest device in this video. So if you just need something portable that will get you through the school year, this might do it. It only runs Chrome. If you need to run a particular Windows application for a course or something, it's not gonna work. But if you're just looking for email, word processing, spreadsheets, or media consumption, Chromebooks can be great. There are some cheap Windows laptops out there like the HP Stream, but at this price point, I prefer Chromebooks for just overall usability and performance. The R11 has a good keyboard and trackpad, good performance, a fully rotating hinge and touchscreen so it can be used as a tablet, and it has a seven hour battery. There's no keyboard backlighting, and keep in mind that it is an 11.6 inch screen, so it's a little small, but overall, it's a pretty good device for the money. Next up is the Dell Chromebook 13. Functionally, it's the same idea as the Acer R11. It is a Chromebook, so it's focused on productivity and media consumption again, but this one costs $100 more. And for the extra money, you get a really nice 13 inch screen, excellent build quality. It has the same carbon fiber finish as the XPS systems. The backlit keyboard and the trackpad are surprisingly good, but this time there's no rotating hinge and no touch screen, so there's no tablet mode but it has a crazy long battery life. You can comfortably hit 10 hours of regular use. One thing to keep in mind for either of these Chromebooks, if you wanna store a lot of files locally, pick up a micro SD card because the internal storage is pretty small. Okay, the next device I wanna talk about is the Acer E15. It's a full-blown Windows laptop, and I think it's the best device on this list for someone who wants a cheap gaming laptop. So this thing has a Skylake i5, an SSD, a GTX 950M for $600. There is a cheaper model at $500, but that one's running the noticeably slower 940M, and it's got a slower hard drive. I try to get this one, it's just a better value overall. It also has lots of ports, even a USB-C, a decent keyboard and trackpad, but there are a couple things I don't love about it. The screen isn't super bright and it has limited viewing angles and the battery life is pretty short. You'll get around three hours of regular use, but for $600, you're getting very good performance. So if you're on a tighter budget and you wanna play games or edit videos, check out the E15. If you're looking for a lightweight ultra portable, the Lenovo 710S is a really good option. It's thin and light with good performance. It's not as good as an XPS 13 because the drive is slower, but it's a more affordable option without sacrificing too much on performance. The build quality is good, not amazing, but the screen has thin bezels. If thin and light performance is something you really want, you should check that one out. There's also the Asus UX360. This one's also priced at $700, but it's running a Core M3 chip, so it's not as powerful. It has great build quality, lots of ports, and a nice screen. This one has no fan because it's running the Core M, so it's silent, and it gets you six and a half hours of battery life. But the most important feature of this thing is the rotating hinge. It adds some extra functionality, and because it's a relatively light device, it's surprisingly comfortable to use as a tablet. The Dell Inspiron 7559 is also a good laptop for students. It's $800 though, so quite a bit more expensive than the Acer E15 I mentioned earlier, but for the extra money, you're getting better performance, better build quality, and much better battery life. You'll get around five or six hours of regular use. Now, if you wanna learn more about the 7559 or any of the devices that I've listed in this video, check the video description below. I've done reviews for most of them, so I'll post them there. I do wanna mention a few things about some other devices. Okay, the Surface Pro 4, it's a really Really nice two-in-one, but it's expensive. So if you're a college or a grad student and your budget is a little higher, go for it. I still think it's one of the best all-around devices. It's just pricey and probably overkill for a lot of students. There's also the cheaper Surface 3. It has a 10 inch screen and the kickstand has set positions. So you might be able to make it work, but in general, it's tough to use a device with a 10 inch screen as your daily driver in school. And then there's the razor blade stealth. You can try to con your parents into getting you one for school. It's not a bad option for what you're getting. It's actually a pretty good value, but remember it's an Ultrabook without a dedicated graphics chip. So it can't really play games without the razor core. And that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs if you liked it, subs if you loved it. It's been nice. See you guys next time.